Oh, there you are again. I've been waiting for you. Do you know what we're going to learn about today? I bet you can guess. Yes, something more about Revelation. I'm excited to see what we can learn today. Are you ready? Let's get started. Do you remember what we talked about last time? About the dragon and the beast and the false prophet? Oh yes, and about the three angels and the special messages. And we talked about the millennium or the thousand year reign. Do you remember all that? And back in our first lesson, we learned about how Jesus sent messages to John. And Jesus, through his angel, told John to write down everything that he saw and heard in his vision. Do you remember who he was supposed to send those messages to? Yes, the seven churches. These churches were made up of real people in real places at the time that John lived. And you know, a long, long time ago, they couldn't send an email like they do now. If they wanted to send a message, they had to write a letter. And they couldn't send it on a plane. They had to have a messenger deliver the letter from one city to the next. After that city read the letter, then they would send it on to the next city so that everyone could read it. These seven churches were in a region of the world that back then they called Asia Minor. Now today, that's the modern day country of Turkey. I'm curious, do you know where Turkey is? Take a look at this map and see if you can find the country of Turkey. Very good. When John wrote the book of Revelation, he was a prisoner on the island of Patmos. This is a small island off the coast of Turkey in the Mediterranean Sea, and now it's part of Greece. Let's see if you can find the island of Patmos on this map. Hmm, where is that little island? Oh, let's see. Yes, there it is. I think you guys found it even faster than I did. Wow, you're good at finding things. It's quite a small island, but you found it. Good job. Now let's listen to what God said to John. Listen closely because in this Bible verse that I'm going to read, it lists all of the churches. Later we'll have a little quiz, so pay close attention. Here it comes. Count how many churches I read. I am the Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And what you see, write in a book and send it to the seven churches which are in Asia, unto Ephesus, and unto Smyrna, and unto Pergamos, and unto Thyatira, and unto Sardis, and unto Philadelphia, and unto Laodicea. Revelation 1.11 But why to only seven churches? We know from other verses in the New Testament that there were more churches back then. Do you remember what the special number seven represents in the Bible? Yes, in the Bible it means that something is complete. So these seven churches represent all of God's people, both back then in the time of John and also throughout all of history, even for us today. So these messages are for us too. Every time John wrote one of these messages, he had to repeat something that Jesus told him to write down. How many churches did he write to? Yes, seven churches. So he had to repeat this special message and this special phrase, how many times? Seven times. So let's look at what this sentence is. The one who has an ear, 
Let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Ear, hear, Spirit, churches? What does this mean? Do you have ears? Let me see them. Can you hear very well with those ears? Can you hear if your mom asks you to do something? So who is this message for? Do you understand who this message is for? Not sure? Let me explain it another way. Imagine your mom or dad or grandma or grandpa said to you, I'm so happy that you listened to me. What does that mean? Does it mean that you obeyed or disobeyed? Yes, of course, it means that you listened and you obeyed and you did what they asked you to do. It's the same way with Jesus. He wants us to listen to him and to obey him because he knows what's best for us. Do you want to hear what Jesus is telling us? Do you have ears to hear him? Yes, me too. I'm so glad I want to listen to what Jesus has to say and obey him too. That's why I'm happy to learn about these special messages that he sent to the seven churches, which include us today because we have ears to hear. Now, I'm curious if you remember the seven churches we heard in the beginning. I'll do something nice for you. I'll show you the seven churches again on the screen and we'll read them one more time. And then we're gonna mix up the letters and see if you know which church it is. Are you ready? Here we go, let's start. Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamus, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. Okay, we're going to mix up the letters now. Here's the first one. I'm curious if you know what it is. Smyrna. Philadelphia. Yes, this one was a little bit more difficult. Okay, here's the next one. Thyatira. Did you get this one? Okay, here comes another one. This one is Ephesus. Okay, here's the next one. Laodicea. Did you get this one? Some are a little tricky. Pergamus. Yes, Pergamus. Some strange names, right? Okay, here's the last one. And the last one is Sardis. I'm so glad you joined me and participated with me. I'm looking forward to the next time. Are you going to join me? I hope so. So until then, keep using those ears to listen to Jesus. See you next time.